used to do uh, that towards the beginning of my channel where I would just record my phone screen and then upload it. So I wanted to try that out for this video. And I'm gonna be attempting a class up battle from master to legend. And I guess to make myself uh, feel a little better about it, I'm gonna turn my AI advice off. And let's see where we can go with this. So I'm using a purple good stuff deck and I call it purple good stuff. Most people call it purple battle spirits, but honestly, it's not, you know, a, it, it has all the best purple cards in it. And yeah, some of them are battle spirits, but it's not a, you know, battle spirit central deck. It's, you know, it's just a purple deck with pretty much all the best purple cards. So um, I realized that I was close to making this deck uh, because the only cards that I didn't have were Yami and Belphegor. And I wanted to try something new uh, to switch it up. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and crafted three Yami, two Belphegor. And it ended up getting me from 48 to where I am now. So I'm gonna use this deck to try and get to master. So uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this before. I'm gonna go over it very briefly. I don't wanna waste any more time. Um, Yami is amazing, probably the best purple card, and uh, her minion Andros of Yami is kind of like, I don't want to say broken, but like, he's so strong, he's removal every turn and a boss monster, um, all in one card, and you can easily search it out um, with Pandoria, and he evolves really easy because of Demo Bone. Which comes from my VLA. She makes some good minions too, but the only one I really care about is Demo Bone. And you just use it to um, level up Andros and you can get it back with a uh, 7 Shogun when he attacks or when you summon him, so. Card power consumption is nice. If you haven't tested this card out yet and you're playing purple, you really need to try this card out. It's it's really good. I knew that it was good when it when I saw it um, because it's like you can kind of play around stuff that can't be destroyed um, since you know you can't use destruction on it, but you'll still stop the attack and gain the life as well. Um, I've had this really save me when they're swinging at me for like 40 p. And I just use power consumption and go up to 10 life. It's, it's really nice. Um, you definitely want to test this card out if you haven't yet. And lastly, this card has been doing a lot of work for me. I really overlooked this card initially, uh, but I'm trying it out now and it's really good. And then this is a card I'm also testing. I just want to test one copy of it uh, this spell charge uh, puts field minions into your uh, trash from your deck and then you can destroy one of your minions which is okay um, and if you do you deal one damage to each of your opponent's forces but you don't have to destroy it uh, but the reason why I wanted to put this card in this deck is for his spell 3 resurrect which lets you bring out a purple or neutral field minion from your trash uh, no cost restriction it just has to be purple or neutral and you can bring it back. And I use that to pretty much just play, I guess, Bill for Gore for a little cheaper. Just something I'm testing out. I very rarely get to the third spell, but um, when I have, it was nice. So, yeah, let's get into it. You might know the deck doesn't have uh, Petit Diable, which I do think is a very good purple card, but I just didn't have the room for it. Uh, it probably can put it in i'd probably take out a violet blaze or destruction and then probably take out either canium or the purple rave minion for two copies of brave for petite diable if you wanted to run that also i guess one thing i want to say man this force right here is really really good <laughs> like i think this one's super underrated like the effect is super underrated and it has uh two life 
So when combined with Phoenix, you're starting off with seven. And I think having that seven life is what gives this deck an edge over the red deck. Let's go ahead and get into it. I've rambled way too long. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, please, because I'm going to be making more than his art videos, and I know you're going to want to see those. So, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, please, and thank you. I think Purple Battle Spirit is the best deck, in my opinion. Um, right now, I don't think that there is like an actual, actual best deck, but in my opinion, I think Purple is the best deck. And I think red is the most popular um, just because it's a lot easier to play and people were using it last season with a golem summoning and the red deck still uses golem summoning. So, uh, you know, obviously all you gotta do is craft a couple more cards to update it to the red battle spirits version, which is probably why you see it so often. All right, let's do it. She didn't say she was right by my side. I guess that's because I have AI advice off. Now, this hand, oh, I'm probably going against, I'm probably going against Red Battle Spirits. Um, but I could also be going against Green. Uh, Violet Blaze is always a uh, really good early game. So I'm going to hold on to that, and then I'll probably send this back to Tessa to try and get another card. I would like to get Lolo or Pandoria. Um, I have a turn one and turn two play, so I'm straight on that. Okay. I would much rather play Soul Horse anyways. I was thinking about sending this back, actually, because... One thing I've realized, when you go first, oh, my God, but, yeah. one thing I've noticed, when you go first, you don't have to play a one cost minion. Like, you could just pass, I guess. I think that's why I, I really like these rare evokers from Forbidden. Because yes, like Oleana, like like if you if I went first and I played that Oleana, I don't have to play a one drop. I could just play Scout, you know. And then next turn, uh, you know, play your two cost minion and then uh, and then move that to base, you know. One uh, hmm. Do I attack? They have the cure on for so they can play reverse wind and I don't think I'd be upset with them playing reverse wind on this. Okay, ah. There's that too. But, um, that's okay. See, Ouroboros is like crazy. Like, it is, you get free pressure, like. I was able to attack that with very minimal repercussion. Like, he couldn't retaliate with an attack because my minion was tapped, you know? Okay, so we got Lolo. That's good. Um, I have Violet Blaze thanks to you as well. I'm going to play that. And... I don't want to play Andoros. I really want to play, um, yeah, I think I'm going to hold off on Andoros, actually. I do. I do think I'm going to hold off on that. Because next turn, I can play Andoros, possibly pop something more important than the Magpie, and then level it up with Demo Bone. But I will have to play Lolo this turn in order to do that. So I'm going to play Lolo. I'm sorry, I, I, <laughs> I've been playing with AI advice on so long that I'm forgetting that I don't get any AI advice this time. So, I think I'm just gonna chill. Mm, I might play, yeah, I'm gonna play Sword All because I have, I'll have Demo Bone to get him to level one and then the Club Skeleton to get him to level three and then Mud Pit will just get him huge. 
So let's sort it out. I guess that's okay to go in the drop area. I would much rather have it in my hand, but it is what it is. I'm going to move him to the base. No attack this turn because he has more mana and uh, I didn't want that assault dive to come out. Yeah, there she goes. And there's her tailing. Yeah. He has not played Harai yet, so there's not going to be any restoration, but he can use Warcry. Uh, I don't think I care about Warcry though, so let's pass Ugh, I don't want to use Violet Blaze on Angela. Um, but I will. God, <laughs> I gotta watch my language when I'm recording. Uh. I was about to start talking like I normally do. <laughs> Let's make sure we don't do that. I agree. Intuition and experience. And my intuition is telling me it might be okay to pass here. If he really wants to take my force out and commit something else to do it. Yeah, war cry. But, yeah. Nah, like, bruh. I, have, I love Lolo. That, I love that Lolo can't be targeted. I love it so much. Oh no, dang, Angela. Oh, I would have popped that. Oh well. Demo bone. Alright. On the rocks. Boom! Pop that shit. I'm recording. I'm recording. You good? Let's go. Okay. Um. Hmm. Now, I'm not worried about Andoros dying. They can bounce him if he wants to. That's fine. Uh. Yeah. We got reverse win. I thought that was okay. Okay, I expected that. But, um. Okay. I am not going to let her kill me, though. Uh, that's why I didn't want to use um, Violet Blaze, because I wanted to save it for Kathleen. But, uh, power absorption should help, so. I'm just gonna. You know, I'm just gonna hope that uh, power absorption does the work I need it to. Oh boy. I'm glad I killed that. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm glad I killed that reptilian, but uh, here he come again. So Kathleen's fan got him buff and then release. I need a more buff. Three. Um. Okay, um, wait a minute, she's obviously going to play another card, because why would you do that? Hell no, I'm blocking. Oh, it goes back to hand, oh well, so, play another one, you don't have Phoenix Force. I have seven life, if she played... She already played her free fan. So. Yeah, this one's tough. I don't want to lose my Phoenix Force because that's one of the few ways that I can. You know. But in the same vein. Yeah, she got it. It's it's no way to. Yeah, I can't. Unfortunately, Phoenix Force has to go. Bye bye. 
Joker is one reason why I like having Kanium in the deck. He is <laughs> easy. Don't even have to think about it. He's definitely going to the, the base. Okay, so... Yeah. This card is amazing. Not only do I get to destroy their minion, I get to draw a card. And that's just value. Like, straight value. Uh, mm, and this doesn't give any DP, unfortunately. So, uh, it's not looking like I can win this turn. Uh, but... I can... Let's see... <laughs> Alright, they got it, they got it, you know? Let's see... Three cards, another assault dive, huh? Okay... That's fine. Let's go to level three, baby. <laughs> and just to make sure I don't get screwed by a reptilian. I'm in love with the Lolo. Right, yeah, I might be all there. And you are tapped out. I guess I can at least sit there. Mm. This can only go on Battle Spirits minions. <laughs> nah, I think I'll I think I'll let that one go. Uh no, I can't. I, I have to remember that my Phoenix Force is gone. I, 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 I get so used to it being alive. I need to keep three open so I don't die. Sorry, this video is getting long, but. Oh, God! Oh, boy, here we go. I would have never thought that a Kathleen deck would use. Um, reverse time. I'm, I'm passing because I need for her to commit more resources. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't want to get greedy. I, I literally can't kill her next turn. So... Yeah, I don't want to get greedy. Power Consumption is an amazing card. Uh, oh, Belphicor. Hmm. Belphicor can get Steinborg, but I don't have anything on my drop to take advantage of him. Hmm. Let's. That sucks because Kathleen's going back to the hand because of release. Mm. But I'm just going to hope she can't actually kill me. One thing about the yellow deck is that it might eventually run out of resources. Um, okay. What you got? You got reverse one? Oh, you got reverse on with no reverse win. Get out of here. Okay. Um. I guess I'll do Shikisuru first. Or should I do? Okay. I need more movement. Soul horse. Shikizuru. So I'll play Shikizuru and Sword Doll. Mm, I guess I'll play also play Sword Wars. 
All right. I hope, I hope I didn't do this in the wrong order. Uh, mm, mm, I would have liked that Steinborg in my hand, but it's cool. Uh, all right, Soul Horse. This Soul Horse is going to be good um, against... Uh, what I can say? I'll bet. This Soul Horse, this Soul Horse is going to be good against Reptalian because I'll just be able to block one and then boost my entire board. Uh, this game is actually kind of intense. Right. Angela, so what you bringing out? Reptalian, respect it. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh, them boys fat. They ain't messing around. The boys thick. Um, I mean, that's what Soul Horse is here for, right? They can't, pl they can't play anything else. They can't play any more spells. Pretty sure they're just conceding here, so. Yeah. I think we got the dub, boys. I think we're making it the master, boys. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't need Pandora. No, no, you got that. Yeah. I'm not even gonna be him. I'm just going They got four life. GG. We made the master. Yay! <laughs> yeah! Oh, well, I was way too late on that screenshot, but I got the video so straight. <laughs> All right, yeah, we made it the legend. 85,300 element. I wonder if that's significant. I guess we'll find out one day. Yeah, this was a great game. I had a lot of fun. I'm glad I turned AI advice off to you. All right, well, uh, let's see what my how my AI did. Oh, I don't say whatever. I uh, just want to thank everyone for watching, and we finally made it to the legend. So uh, I, honestly, I didn't think I would get here because I was I was struggling at 42, and then once Forbidden came out, I got to 48, and then I crafted the uh, purple good stuff deck and ended up here. So. Yeah, I want to thank everybody for uh, sticking around. I know this video went all kind of long, but uh, I just wanted to try and give some commentary over a, a high level game. So let me know if you like this kind of video. I'm thinking about going back to this style of just recording my phone screen and then uploading it. Um, and I learned how to edit it even better after recording my phone screen too. So. I'm gonna try and put a little, you know, editing on this. And just see where it goes from there. So if you like this video, uh, please leave me a thumbs up. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. So that you can see the rest of the Zenazar content I have coming in the future. And I appreciate everyone uh, for watching this. And uh, I'll see everyone else in Legend once you guys get there too. So um, thanks everyone. And y'all have a good night.